Welcome to the Rio Plus 20 Arts and Media Partnership Workshop here. Yeah. My name is Miroslav Bolzer. I am uh, the Secretary of the International Association for the Advancement of Innovative Approaches to Global Challenges. And uh, this workshop is being co-organized uh, by our organization together with the NGO Committee on Spirituality, Values and Global Concerns, represented today by Sharon Hamilton Getz and uh, Spiritual United Nations Alas de Rio, Earth Charter Youth Network, present, uh, represented by Nora, uh, Global Campaign for Climate Action with Paul, uh, French Ambassador Foundation, uh, represented by Alien, Institute of International Social Development and UN Staff Recreation Council, SEED and Feng Shui Group. The aim of uh, today's workshop is to raise public awareness on Rio Plus 20 and uh, to raise public political support for Rio Plus 20 through innovative partnerships with media and creative industries and arts globally. And uh, we have uh, our own initiative, uh, the Rio Plus 20 Global Youth Music Contest, which will be presented here. And uh, uh, our media partnerships shall be presented and developed further. But uh, it's an important goal of today's workshop also to give other initiatives the floor to present their uh, activities related to Rio Plus 20 and arts and media, music, uh, celebrities, so that we can see where uh, synergies are possible. And, uh, we've will be also joined by some uh, people from Rio Plus 20 Secretariat so that uh, we will get advice from them how to improve our strategies and our concepts. Uh, I would uh, like to welcome also uh, the participants who are following us uh, via internet, uh, the web broadcast. Uh, uh, greetings from Sunny in New York. Uh, everybody welcome. Uh, and this uh, live web broadcast is brought to us uh, by WhatsApp Youth Professional Services and operated by JAS Productions. And we are very grateful for this. And it's also, uh, there will be a live tweeting, uh, and uh, the hashtag is uh, Rio Arts and Media. And with this, I give the floor to Sharon. And uh, great thank you for this excellent cooperation. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Miroslav Bolzer. And uh, we're so proud to be uh, working together and partnering with so many organizations. And I want to wish my uh, greetings, good morning to ladies and gentlemen and all youth. Uh, many thanks to the partners in today's workshop. And we also would like to acknowledge our ever increasing uh, colleagues and spiritual leaders. Also, uh, Swami Paramashananda, who's the vice chair of our committee. Of uh, spirituality, parts of global concerns in New York, and all thanks to the renewable energy resources and uh, Orfas Ugarti uh, and staff for pre preparing today's refreshments. Um, so, I'm representing a number of organizations. I'll start with the Spiritual United Nations. Um, it has official branches in four countries in the US, in Canada, in Russia, and in Israel. And it continues to grow steadily. It is represented in the United Nations headquarters in New York by myself, uh, the chair of the NGO Committee on Spirituality, Values, and Global Concerns of uh, New York. And uh, uh, Sun is also accepted as a project of the Institute of International Social Development, um, it's, which is an NGO with special record uh, consultative status at the United Nations. And the Institute in a number of countries also as well, in the US, in France, in Switzerland, and in India. So in a, in a few moments, I will read to you a greeting from Mr. Shomit Chowdhury, who is the main representative of IIS, IISD. And he's also the chief operating officer of Greek Worldwide Media. Uh, in the nearest future, we are expecting to open a few other branches of the sun in the United, uh, United Kingdom, in Japan, Australia, and Singapore. Uh, sun is focusing on education and training, cultural, social issues, welfare, sp uh, spirituality, and uh, environmental issues. And uh, uh, it has a horizontal structure which would provide all the members 
of organizations and individuals, those who value principles and try their best to develop uh, these, um, and as well with information, contacts, training, and funding resources, mainly through exchange. It also has a vertical structure which develops partnership with governmental and international bodies, helping them in preventing and resolving their problems with spiritual solutions. And uh, two main guidelines for the participants in the project are initiatives of um, initiative and responsibility. So this is a greeting from Mr. Shalit Chowdhury of the Institute of International Social Development. Excellencies, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate everyone for working to partner with the media, as without them, the world will be a stranger, a strange place, and we will be strangers. I would also emphasize that on this month, when we just celebrated the International Women's Day, empowering and partnering with women is essential for any success, for any endeavor in this world, including the Rio Plus 20, uh, Millennium Development Goals, or any other development programs that we may plan to implement. On this occasion, I would like to share with you some of the programs and projects <coughs> that our organization has been implementing in support of the environment. One, a promotion of eco-friendly self-employment programs like handicrafts made with natural resources, making cloth and vegetable dyes, making terracotta items of decoration and ornaments. Two, creating eco-friendly products to substitute use of plastic or bags. Three, planting more medicinal plants for developing a pro-life environment. Four, encouraging and promoting the use of biodiesel through our programs in India and our branches in Geneva, New York, and Paris. Promoting and cultivating organic food in our project areas. Increasing global partnership to minimize an emission of poisonous and greenhouse gases. Urging national governments to have regulatory bodies to determine carbon credit earned by an applicant from any walk of life. Pushing national governments to promote and patronize renewable energy. Using art in the form of painting and or performing arts to spread eco-friendly messages. Using and seeking the help of the media to promote every aspect of building eco-friendly world. On this occasion, we would like to partner and work with the international community and other organizations to help achieve the objectives of the Earth Summit and the additional goals set 20 years from now. Thank you. And as the chairperson of the NGO Committee on Spirituality, Values, and Global Concerns in New York, a committee of the Conference of NGOs and Consultative Status with the United Nations, the committee aims to integrate spirituality and values into all areas of the United Nations agenda and of public policy. So we aspire to support the spiritual principles of global ethics, universal values such as respect, justice, peace, dignity, freedom, responsibility, and cooperation, and underlie the work of the United Nations as reflected as the Charter of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. In order to fulfill the promise of the United Nations to create a more peaceful and sustainable world, we support the recognition and acceptance that spirituality and adherence to universal values are key factors in providing solutions to global concerns. Unless there is a spiritual renaissance in the world, there will be no peace. That was stated by Val Hammarskjöld, the uh, second secretary general of the United Nations, and was built on a spiritual and he was built on spiritual principles and universal values. So uh, on the 24th of October 2002, member organizations in Geneva in consultative status with ECOSOC applied to Congo for the NGO Committee on Spirituality, Values, and Global Concerns 
to be made a standing committee of Congo. And the application was supported by the regulatory number of our 20 member organizations, which was submitted uh, to the Congo Board at its meeting in Vienna on the 30th and 31st of October in 2002, where it was discussed and adopted for a more information about uh, CSVGC at the United Nations in Geneva. Uh, you can look at www.csvgc. Uh, .org. On February 27, in 2004, the NGO Committee on Spirituality, Values, and Global Concerns in New York was accepted as a committee at the United Nations in New York. Uh, and um, CSVGC has created a platform among NGOs and spiritual and values based interest groups and has created a link to Brazil to develop consciousness and documenting the voices of people globally as a foundation of all sustainability, sustainable development during the Rio Plus 20 conference in June, and it will so, uh, select a youth as a Spirit of the UN award recipient on the 22nd of October uh, during our Spirit of the UN uh, award ceremony during the week of spirituality, values, and global concerns. Uh, which will be the 22nd to the 26th of October. And last, uh, and uh, very important, as a representative of IAAI Glocha in New York, I am committed to integrating economic, social, environmental, and consciousness development in support of establishing a, a Glocha uh, Center here and support the youth by all means and civil society to energize and support the work of the United Nations. So I congratulate all of you who have particip participated today in today's Rio Plus 20 Arts and Media Partnership Workshop, and I'm here to be of support in any way possible. Thank you very much. Thank you.